beautiful people. Welcome back. Welcome back. Happy New Year to y'all. Happy New Year to all of you beautiful, beautiful people. Okay, first video of the year, y'all. And it's all about my um, newest little gadget um, here, my Nespresso coffee machine. just wishing you guys a, um, a happy new year and telling y'all how this is the first video of the year but I did get a Nespresso coffee machine first of all can we get into my hair though uh, can we get into my hair so look y'all since y'all last saw me I have now become a, um, a beautician okay not licensed okay so don't come for me because I'm not licensed but y'all last night I took the seals of honey and I started cutting all up in this little hair of mine y'all already if you know me and you follow me on Facebook and stuff like that y'all already know I ain't have a lot of it but I got them seals of y'all and talking about gave myself a legit haircut period look look y'all looking are y'all looking okay okay who finna save um hundreds of dollars because she don't have to go to the salon this girl this girl but this video ain't even about no hair if y'all care, I'll um, I'll film myself doing it the next time I actually give myself a haircut. Now that's only if y'all care. Now if you do, let me know. If you don't, you can let me know that too. Um, but I wanted to just show y'all my little um, Nespresso machine. I did film uh, a few little clips, but I actually felt like I would be doing a disservice if I didn't tell y'all, doing y'all a disservice if I didn't tell you where I actually picked up my little items from. As y'all know, I'm in an apartment. So you know, apartment kitchen space is not um, is not just like extreme. Um, I shall also say I'm typically a person who is not uh, particularly fond of things just all over the counter. Mm -mm. Y'all, I need to be able to see the counter. I can't be having all this stuff piled up. I mean, of course, I had to make an exception though for this coffee um, coffee machine. So this is more of my little coffee nook, um, so to speak. Um, Y'all, it is taking up a lot of my counter space. So, I mean, I'm gonna get used to it because it's not like I really use it. It's just like I like a clean, uh, a clean counter. But y'all, sister uh, gave me or gifted me the Nespresso machine for my birthday, okay? Now, I was a late coffee bloomer in life, meaning I've only been drinking it probably the last few years of the almost 40 that I've been alive. But y'all, I felt like I needed to step it up a notch because just my kettle and regular Folgers just was not doing it for your girl. So, um, I do have... Um, the Nespresso machine, y'all, that came with the uh, the milk frother. Uh, this you can pretty much find this some of everywhere: Walmart, Target. I picked up uh, mine from Bed Bath and Beyond because I really wanted to find it as the bundle, but it was around Christmas time, so I was having a hard time. And I found it like, okay, so here you go, here you go. So, um, y'all. Okay, I don't have many accessories, but I did just, I, I felt inclined to just kind of let y'all know where I picked up the few things that I do have, okay? First off, my little sign back here, um, I just want to drink coffee, create stuff, and sleep, period. That's all. Y'all, that's all. That, that's really it. That's really it, okay? Um... I think in a, an earlier clip, I may have told y'all, like, it came with um, the Nespresso a machine came with, like, a, a sample packet, so to speak, of, I think it was, like, probably, like, 11 pods or so that came with it so that you can kind of, you know, really taste a few of them, see which ones you might like better, yada, yada, yada. The machine is just, you know, it's a machine, y'all. It is some of the best coffee 
I've had. And this is including Starbucks and all those other little cute coffee shops that we might actually go to. Because I just felt like, I got to the point where I felt like at Starbucks, the $5.50, $6 I was spending on a drink, I mean, it wasn't really that. It wasn't really all that. It's just like, you know what, let me just go on and go home. So I got to the point where I needed to start making my own coffee. So. Uh, the thing that the coffee machine is actually sitting on is a drawer where I have my pods. So y'all, I'm actually thinking about, and this came from Amazon, I'm actually thinking about getting another one of these um, just because I felt like, yes, I could add a little color in this little uh, cylinder type um, glass vase. Uh, so I just kind of drop my extra pods in and I'll just kind of like put them in my drawer as they as they tend to run out But y'all this is so convenient. Look at how cute and organized the coffee actually looks by just being in this little drawer here So I absolutely love 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 this I don't think I will be able to do any more than two of these because I don't need the coffee machine too high to where I can't actually um, Open up my cabinet here without hitting the machine. So that's one thing that I'm definitely going to have to avoid but this um, is the one of the best organizers I can probably say I ran across as I did my little search on um, Amazon so of course I'll link it for y'all below um, this little cylinder here that I have um, extra coffees in, um, just my extra pods, y'all. This came from Home Goods. Um, I think I probably got it out of the little clearance rack, but it was only, you know, a few dollars, no more than 10 for sure. Um, but I thought this would be a good way to kind of just bring a little bit of color because y'all know me when it comes to my color palette, I'm just pretty neutral across the board. Um, so when it came to this little nook, I said, okay, my pop of color could actually be my extra pods that I have in the um, in the little cylinder here. This sign, y'all, which I absolutely adore. Uh, this sign actually came from Home Goods as well. It was just one that I kind of stumbled across, and I was glad I did. It's just kind of hanging out here in the back, you know, nothing, um, nothing major. Now, the one thing that I really wanted to share with y'all that I just felt like y'all really, really needed to know about. So, let's talk about labels. Y'all know how we have stuff on the counter, or not even just stuff, but like, you know, like when you think about all the coffee syrups and all that kind of stuff, how they all have their own individual labels. Y'all, that was just too much color for me. So, I prefer to use the glass bottles or, you know, like these um, jars, so to speak. Let me just kind of get y'all in here a little bit. So, these y'all are actually, I actually use these for my oils as well. So my olive oil, my vegetable oil, like cooking oils and stuff. But y'all, I felt like this was the absolute perfect um, uh, resolution for kind of just getting away, uh, discarding all of those colorful labels that come with the syrups and all of that. So I just have a simple um, vanilla syrup. I have caramel, salty caramel. You'll see some little caramel uh, sauce in the back there. There, which is you know for like drizzling on a, a caramel macchiato or whatever um, now they, these two in the back here um, one is the coffee Patron so it's more of like for adult beverages okay adult coffee beverages um, so if you're over the age of 21 okay um, you might want to try that and this is just some of the Bailey's um, like the Bailey's cream that you get from the liquor store as well so um, I decided to pour those in these, uh, in these because y'all look at how, I mean, this just looks so clean, right? Like it looks so clean. Like I'm okay with these just kind of sitting on the counter just because they still um, give it a neat look. It doesn't look crowded. It doesn't look overly done. Cause again, this is a small space I have here. So um, y'all, I'm obsessed with these. I'm actually, you know what? Should we give a few of these away? Should we give some of these away? Because like I said, they don't have to be for a coffee bar y'all. These could actually be used for regular household things okay um I've always used these for my oils and the uh, one the one good thing I love about this one that I found and I got these on Amazon as well but there is a little click uh spout here uh a, a spout cap 
is what it is. So literally you just kind of push it up that way and it covers the mouth. So some of these actually come where there's no uh, cap on the mouth. So it's like you pour it out, but ooh, I mean, I just don't want mine open. I mean, if y'all do, then that's just y'all. But I prefer to have it covered. Like, this cap is great for that. Y'all, I think what I'm going to do, make sure... Okay, I'll tell you what. We're going to do a giveaway with some of these. Now, these came in sets of three, okay? I have an extra one back there. I was like, just in case I pick up another, um, uh, another coffee flavor. But, y'all, let's do a little fun giveaway um, with these. How about I give away three sets so there it's three per set so i'm gonna give away three and i'm just gonna randomly pick you know some names from the comment section so be sure to let me know what should what, what should y'all let me know okay since this is a coffee video let me know your favorite um coffee um coffee drink okay whether it's hot whether it's a latte blah 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 just let me know your favorite coffee um drink below if you feel an extra generous let us know how to make it okay it, i would definitely be um uh, be excited to try now one last thing before i go y'all i did well okay let me just kind of turn you over a little bit in this section it's still not a whole lot going on at all i found that little lamp from home goods as well um along with this so if i do have um you know a pastry or something like that i can easily just kind of keep it you know um keep it covered and if you notice like this is it on the counter and y'all before this before this coffee machine came over here that was just it okay but one really really quick thing i did want to share with y'all i wanted to tell y'all my favorite um uh share with y'all my favorite uh latte milk Okay, so I don't use a whole milk or 2% milk um, or anything like that. I mean, first of all, let me just say I'm definitely not vegan or none of that, okay? Um, I just, you know, eat and drink what I like. But y'all, so this Simply Almond, um, vanilla almond has been like one of my favorites for a while now. So... I usually would use this for smoothies, but when I got this coffee machine, I'm like, okay, let me get a little creative and um, just see how this looks or see how it tastes in my lattes, y'all. I absolutely love it. I absolutely love this one. So this is the, um, the Simply Almond, okay? I picked this up at Target, but just look wherever milk is sold, in the milk aisle, okay? Um, but then, y'all, I'm new to this Oatly. So I have never had oat milk until, y'all, today, today. I had it today, okay? Cause I ordered some groceries um, from Sprouts and I realized that they had this particular brand. Now I've seen some really good um, or heard some really good things about this particular milk um, when it comes to lattes. Y'all, it's so good. I mean, it honestly tastes just like this one. So, you know, a lot of people, um, a lot of the videos I did see uh, they were saying that oat milk is just something about the aftertaste or, or whatever it may be. But honey, I think it blends really, really nicely with coffee. So these are my two coffee, um, coffee milks that I absolutely love for my lattes and stuff like that. So these have been really, really nice. Um, so yes, y'all, this was going to just be re something really, really quick. There's no need to drag it on. I just wanted to share these uh, two milks with y'all, um, which are the only ones I used to just use this one when it came to my uh, my coffees but now that I, I I'm a fan of Oatly I think this is one that I'll definitely be repurchasing um oh did I tell y'all my coffee cups I skipped this little section here um so my coffee cups are or mugs are from Bed Bath & Beyond y'all so stinking cute I mean like legit you see the coffee pouring in it really nicely when you put your uh frocked milk um um is it frocked yeah froth froth y'all a uh, duh froth when you pour your frothed milk over it, I mean, it just is so pretty when you see it go in the glass. So I got these from um, 
Bed Bath & Beyond as well. They were only just a few bucks each. Now this little shelf unit here, I also picked this up from, uh, from Amazon and I absolutely love this too. For a minute, I, I was kind of struggling with which way I wanted to put it. It's kind of like when I put it towards this it was just taking it was looking like it was taking up too much space for me so i'm very very pleased with it kind of just turned to the side and it really does just hold everything quite nicely okay so that's that's my little coffee get up oh my favorite nespresso pod so far bianca Bianco Leggero. Y'all, it is the best. It is so creamy. Because now I must admit, I'm not really a coffee drinker who absolutely loves like a strong brew, okay? So I prefer sweeter coffees and things like that, y'all. This coffee pod is so delish. Like I actually ordered before I even um, had a chance to taste the ones that they sent. I actually ordered um, a few sleeves and I got a couple of these just because I already could tell from the reviews that I was absolutely going to love it um, but yes y'all this is my little coffee setup now I'm fancy over here um, when it comes to you know like corona settling down a bit I might you know start inviting people over for coffee um, that sounds real old <laughs> that sounds real real old but that's what I'm gonna do because I've been really playing with my coffee recipe so y'all I have really really enjoyed having it so far it's only been um a couple weeks if that um but i'm absolutely loving it so don't forget we're gonna do a giveaway of three sets of the um the little jars here uh so just be sure to let me know your favorite coffee recipe. Again, if you're feeling generous, share with us how to make it, okay? Um, and then I'll just randomly pick in the next few days. I'll pick a few random people from the, um, the comment section below. So again, Happy New Year, y'all. I appreciate you for, um, for clicking on this video. Oh, in the new year, y'all, quit being stingy with the subscriptions. Let's go ahead and subscribe. I feel like y'all would really enjoy.